You guys in 2019 still are struggling with Colombia. Pah, what amateurish moves you guys have. Unbelievable. But the thing is, if you start Colombia, there's only one single conquest you can play in, obviously. And the Brazilian boys. When, am I blind? Where are they? Oh, so in four turns. So four turns is more than enough to prepare a little cute invasion into their lands. So if you have any generals, use them. I'm, I think I'm that arrogant that I even can do it without generals, okay? I can even do it without generals. So the thing is just rush Brazil. Prepare all that invasion here. Hold some choke points and you will easy peasy win it. So obviously in the beginning some artillery is useful, some grenadiers are useful just to smack up the cities. Blast before you do the ultimate attack. I'm gonna declare one in one turn when I have my blast and then I right should be able to per possibly take this city out. Well, possibly. Also, you still have the Patriotic Army, which is quite a good unit. High attack, high health, high defense especially. So they could be quite a useful asset. It's turn 4, and I'm going to declare war on Brazil. And listen, if you use generals, this will go a lot faster, but this I'm not doing it without, so even the noobs, even the newbie ones of you guys can still do it. So first of all, obviously, smack up the city. Use the artillery to lower their health. Lose the blast to lower its health. Try to surround it as much as possible. So it gets the debuff. Use the cavalry to possibly double attack. Yeah. Per Over here you just hold basically. Don't really try to offensive it. The offense goes through the middle. Don't forget patriotic army. Uses very little amount of population. So your tax won't be reduced and is quite strong. Like I said, take the cities first, important. That was all your artillery first. So your units won't get too high damage. It's a very obvious thinking step. Oh, what is that? I have taken the city. So they already have an economical boost on the Brazilians. Well, they still have four cities while you have five cities. Now as artillery, if as soon as you've taken the city, you will uh, try to take another city. You rush to this city, you rush over here. But what you can do is on the way you just quickly still bombard the generals and units while running, obviously. And now you can just hold these cities, don't really try to like, kill off the units, just go for the enemy cities, that's always how you do it. Killing off units barely is worth it. Militia spam, that's the way. What you can do now is start then donating to Europe, because as soon as you've taken them economically, they don't really pose any real threat anymore to the Brazilians. They do start aiding your allies which are weak, so Spain. For example, Spain, Portugal, Prussia, the Austrians, a lot of, there's a lot of places which start quite weak. Well, you continue your march to glory. Now again, look, this city is under heavy attack. I'm just going to put a new militia there. And oh, you see, second city taken, it's only round seven. Ignore the units, bash them with artillery on the way, and just go for the next city. Like I said, militia is more, enough to, more than enough to hold a city. Now a very important thing is to notice how your economy is looking because your allies need the money you will give them and you obviously need it as well. So pay attention that this doesn't go overboard. I am just saying. Now what I'm doing is I'm charging again as always I'm charging towards Brazilian cities and just defending mine barely. Just hold one. One militia day keeps the enemy away. And again the rest of the money you donate. Because that's how I play here. And again, a new militia boy has been born. Another new militia boy has been born. Sometimes it's a bit expensive to get a lot of militias. But it's worth it. What I always try to do is also I try to position my units that way. That I, I, I'll let you take this city and this city. So I'll try to position my units that way that they're standing around these edges to right be able to attack for onward. And not only attack the city in the immediate range. Obviously now Brazilians are facing one big trouble and that is that they have too many units so they can't really build any new ones. Heh. They took their cities. They can't really build any new units because the old ones are still around. But this artillery goes here. He can't build any new unit. What a wonder. And their capital is taken. And now my units can right go and rush for... Oh well they built a unit. I'm astonished. But now you reckon go and rush for the next cities. Well again as always Malicious spam. Now here also you try to split up your armies a little bit. So some go for this city, some go for this city. Overall you just have to start bashing and again. 
I'm trying to adjust my artillery so that uh, it can slow it and his right can go on when they attack the last Brazilian city over here. And again, you just try to drive by the Brazilians. So around 12 and I'm already around their last two cities. They are not really threatening at all. I can just use my militias here as always. This guy can take a punch, but maybe not two. So it's all easy peasy. They should fall around round 14, maximum 15 if something goes wrong. And again, donate your money. Okay, so the last second last city has fallen. The last city is about to fall again, just next militia over here. This guy needs no replacement. All is fine. And don't be greedy. Give your money to the needy. Oh, that's quite a nice... Oh, come on. Is there a, is there a saying? If not, then I'm, I, I'm good at inventing stuff. Come on. Okay, yeah, they build a unit here, so I'm probably not gonna take it this turn. Probably. Okay, so this has to be the round. Uh, I mean, he just probably suicided into my general, so... And the mighty Brazil has fallen 15 turns. I only started in 11 turns. No big issue. I only defend it here. Now you can if you don't need those guys. You can just disband the militia here defending. I mean you can just let them there with they'll block up population. So just keep them disband, doesn't really matter. Now the thing is you've got quite a lot of generals probably around here. So what you can do with them. I mean you can try to go and help Iberia. You can try to go and take out the USA. You should probably try to do both. I would say, I would say you should uh, devote your unit strength by about forty percent to take Florida, and sixty percent to go and aid in the European theater or in Africa, depending on. And from now on, you maybe build one unit a turn maximum, and all the money goes to your allies. So Prussia needs it. Spain needs it, Portugal needs it. What you also can do is buy in some allies earlier, so early Sweden, early Denmark could be really useful. But for the beginning, if they're not so close yet, you first donate your money. And that's gonna be of the biggest advantages. What I would do now is send these guys right here, I would send to Portugal and Spain to help. What I'd do is uh, over time build up a small army here and send them to attack Florida. So that's basically the strategy of that, like I said, a lot of money goes to your allies. When Bavaria, Sweden, Denmark join, the game is mostly very problematic for the enemies. Don't don't forget to give Austria once in a while some money, not only Spain and Prussia. And that's gonna be really helpful for your team. I don't even know why this was requested that much, because to me, honestly, Colombia is one of the easiest nations in 1815. It's just not really as fast, but it's easy. So take up Brazil. That's all the biggest troubles done for you. There's no imminent threat to you anymore. What you also can do if you want the fronts to look a little better is you maybe also can help with in Africa. So maybe like rotate between giving some Spain some giving something to Prussia and to Africa. Anyways, I hope this helps you at least with the start. The rest is just a lot of donating and a lot of sending your units and I don't really have the time right now, so that's how it would be. And don't forget, in Bogota you can build up some nice uh, patriotic army since the grenadiers and if you have any generals go attack I did this without any generals I mean imagine that's how good you will do if you have at least the starting generals already so trust me this is easy give it a try have a nice and goodbye